911, what's the nature of your emergency? Welcome back to the Tactical Living Podcast. I'm your host, Ashley Walton, joined by Detective Walton. Clint, how are you? I'm good. I feel like there are two different types of police wives. There are those who just kind of live life and go with the flow of how this life is, which most certainly is quite unique. But then there are also those police wives that are super compulsive and obsessive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I know of a lot of my partners who have those wives. <laughs> so I wanted to read a Facebook post. Um, this Facebook post was inside of a police wives Facebook group. And I think it's important to just point this out. She she got all kinds of crazy comments on this. And it's not to poke fun at her. But this is just to point out what I believe to be an incredibly unhealthy nature of a relationship. Not not strictly with police wives, but I think that the whole living behind the thin blue line thing definitely heeds into this perpetual, um, almost addiction that I see some females partake in. And so I'll just read the post here. She says, I got a necklace with a replica of my husband's badge, and he thought it was so cool and he was so happy about it. So I thought that he would be happy about this too. I got it tattooed on my hip. This is meant to look like I'm wearing the badge on my hip, like he does when he's off duty work, when he does off duty work. It has his badge number, but it says Mrs. 0000, his badge number. And I surprised him with it, and he just got kind of quiet, and then he said, why? And he said it was nice. I got a strong feeling that he didn't like it, but he said that he did. It was just super random. Now, it is a week later, and he told me that he wants me to cover it up because he said it was just too much. I posted it to Facebook, and he said now that his coworkers got a hold of it, and they were all making fun of it, and now he's mad at me. They started sharing it in their group chat, and he yelled at me, saying that if I wanted a badge to just become a Leo and to get my own. He said, I'm making his job all about me when I just wanted to support my Leo and show him that I have a six in a world that hates police, and I'm so hurt. What are your thoughts? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very extreme in, in my mind, and, and one, one thing... It, you know, like you said in the very beginning is, is taking it too far, um, trying to show your support in, in such a way that it's, it's almost like she's identifying as being in law enforcement through her husband. And it's one of those things like it, that's, it's a conversation that you would want to have with, with your, your spouse or significant other on, on like, is that something that you would want me to do. And I mean, I know guys who have our shoulder patch tattooed on their shoulders and, and have images like their badge tattooed on them, but it's, it's an unhealthy relationship because the bottom line is it's just a job still like, yes, we were dedicated to what we do. And, and it's a, such a great thing that law enforcement does, but the bottom line is it's still a job. If her husband was a CPA, do you think that she would go and get his CPI, CPA license tattooed on herself? No, probably not. It's a, it's recognizing that there's, there's, you've gone too far at some point. Yeah. And I want to talk into, I want to talk about some of the just relationship aspects that really stand out here for me because you, you hit on a great point. And the first one is, I'm curious to know what their dynamics are in terms of her feeling the need to go and do this on her own um, as a sort of surprise. It seems like getting a surprise tattoo is a, a bit of a, an oddity in my mind. And I'm wondering if she did that surprise tactfully because she was fearful of him not wanting to her to have it done if she were to have vocalized it to him. That's number one. Number two, I'm also wondering why the husband seemingly didn't seem to discuss his true feelings until other people started to point out um, sort of the, the absurdity in this. And I'm wondering if maybe 
he needed some time to think about it, or his feelings were reconfirmed by people in his department sort of poking fun at his wife. And then I'm also curious to know why he didn't stand up for his, like there was nothing that she said that indicated that she felt safety and security from her husband in him defending her. Yeah. And that's something that's, that's a whole other baggage to unpack because the, the problem is one, like if you support your wife or you support your family and you love them, like you're going to defend them regardless of the choices that they make. And even in the light of being under that peer pressure influence from other people, you, your family should always come first. And, and that's a whole other package that it shouldn't have been handled that way. I think handling the situation is important and key in in the response of how actually things should be, how your true feelings are. Yeah. And I'm trying to think for myself, how, how, if for some reason I felt like I needed to get anything about you and your profession tattooed on me, which I I would never, I just, I, I just wouldn't. And, but I'm trying to think about when this would be appropriate because I can think of many instances where it would be actually. And one of them would be like in, in memory of, right? Cause we see a significant amount of similar body art in memory of somebody And the reason why it's in memory of somebody is because it was like up until and then bam, that's the point, right? Up until bam, this is going to be his final badge number. First of all, badge numbers change. Um, Officers so easily cannot become officers. Officers can so easily change departments, get new badge numbers. It would be like a NFL player getting a new number, right? So I'm thinking really... I, I. That's the only time that I can think of it maybe being construed in a way that I don't feel is unhealthy. But when you have something like this happen, you're seemingly hiding it from your significant other, then you're showing him you know that he's not thrilled about it. But again, he's not vocalizing how unhappy he is to her. So thereafter, she goes and she posts it on Facebook, further needing to validate her decision, I think. And then to go on to Facebook and then post into, uh, and actually she did it anonymously. So to feel the need to publicly post that tattoo, go into a Facebook group, anonymously post your feelings about it. This to me showcases a great deal of a lack of communication altogether within her relationship and quite possibly an insecurity so deep that she's looking externally for gratification or for support, um, so much to the extent that she can't even say who she is when she's asking for it. Yeah, there's there's so many things when it comes down to it. She could be living that behind the thin blue line lifestyle even more so than her husband is. And and there's there's a problem with that. It's an unhealthy relationship within a profession. And it's being able to have a divide. And it's not saying that you can't have thin blue line things or, or to, to have a, like a pride with what you do, but there's a line that should never be crossed when it comes to having your work life and your profession and your personal life kind of separated to a degree. So you can get out of that environment on a regular basis. Yeah. Tattoos are super mainstream. It's not this taboo subject that it used to be, especially when we were younger. But there's a big difference between, um, let's say, I publish a lot of print on demand. So what's coming up to me is I see a lot of like badge numbers made into sweatshirts, for example. There's a great deal of a difference between wearing a thin blue line piece of apparel versus showcasing something permanent on your body like that. I'm just wondering, what is the 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 deeper desire there? What what is the true purpose of doing that? There's so m- I, I wish so badly that um, maybe I knew who this female was so that I could reach out to her and perhaps have a conversation around it because obviously there's something much deeper than just getting yourself permanently marked with something that's not permanent. And not only that is getting something permanently marked that 
really has no involvement with you as an individual. And that's, to me, tattoos have that meaning of your individuality and something that's important to you where it make to, in my mind it would make more sense for the guy the officer to actually get that tattoo compared to his spouse yeah yeah that's a really great point so i hope you've gotten some value out of today's episode if you have do us a favor drop a review subscribe down below and as always know that i'm sending you a long tight hug from my home to yours